Swati, who's with us. Uh, she's joining us and taking us to the details of the post-mortem report. Over to you, Swati. Absolutely, Madhav. Like I was saying, uh, what we know as of now is that Sonali Fogart died due to suspected heart attack, but her family members have been questioning the circumstances of her death and now even the post-mortem report raises some uh, very very important questions. Let's take a look at the post-mortem. Now this uh, report was prepared by the Department of Forensic Medicine Toxicology, Goa Medical College Bambulim. It says, I performed the autopsy on the dead body of Sonali wife of Sanjay Fogart, aged 43 years, resident of 68 uh, and this is her address in India at the request uh, of uh, Francisco Xavier this uh, Report has been prepared which says the cause of death to the best of my knowledge and belief is reserved pending chemical analysis, histopathology and serological reports of the tissues preserved. However, there are multiple blunt force injuries over the body. This is very important. The report says there are multiple blunt force injuries over the body and in view of the above. The manner of the death for the investigating officer to ascertain. This, this uh, report has been signed by Dr. Sunil Chimbolkar and Dr. Mandar Kantak of the Goa Medical College, raising some very important questions. If it was a suspected heart attack, then how come there were blunt four injuries over Sonali Fogart's body? Well, very, very important, Swati. Please stay with us. We'll keep coming back to those references in the post-mortem report. But uh, blunt force injuries, uh, Arunil, now this adds an entirely new dimension. Of course, the final... Uh, report will be out with the histopathology and the other viscera reports that will accompany the post-mortem. But uh, the fact is that these blunt force injury marks raise some very serious questions. So who was it who first reported the heart attack uh, allegedly of Sonali Fogart? That in fact was cited as the cause of death. And where are the individuals who the kin of Sonali Fogart have been blaming? Well, the Goa cops have been intensely interrogating and questioning all those people who were there with Sonali Fogart. This is after the uh, aspersions, uh, grave aspersions were raised by the family members. They had mainly suspected the personal assistant as well as the other colleagues of Sonali Fogart who were there. Uh, yes, these people who were there with Sonali Fogart at this prominent restaurant at the Anjuna Beach in North Goa, they had only reported about uh, uh, the heart attack case uh, to uh, 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 the local hospital authorities. And that is when uh, the Goa police initially was not suspected any foul play but now uh, we have gone through uh, the post-mortem report as well and uh, when uh, uh, multiple body injuries is been reported on the mortal remains this becomes extremely serious uh, Madhav, Section 302 is already been added uh, uh, with respect to the uh, FIR that has been uh, registered in this case is concerned. Uh, the family members have been uh, repeatedly saying that they want a, want an independent CBI probe in this investigation as well. Uh, they have been, been not happy with the investigation that has been carried out uh, by the Goa police. That's what the family members have been uh, repeatedly pointing out. So what exactly transpires in this case? This basically opens a, a whole new pattern of under of boxes, uh, Madhav, considering the fact that uh, multiple injuries on the body uh, has been reported in the post-mortem report A and section 302, which is culpable homicide, is being added in the uh, FIR.